Have you ever wondered how the monstrous power of a jet engine comes from air and fuel alone? Today we delve into the world of turbojet engines, the heart of modern aviation. These technological marvels with their roar and power, propel us across skies and continents. But how do they work? What's the science behind turning simple air and fuel into a force that can lift tons of metal into the sky? Stay tuned as we unravel the mysteries of turbojet engines. To understand a turbojet engine, one must first grasp the principle of thrust. It's the force that propels an aircraft through the air, and it's based on the old adage, every action has an equal and opposite reaction. This is, in essence, Newton's third law of motion at work in the aviation world. Thrust is created when air is drawn into the engine's intake and then compressed by the compressor. This is where our first core component of the turbojet engine comes into play. The compressor, think of it as a series of fans, each one smaller and faster than the last. They all work together to squeeze the incoming air, making it both hot and high pressure. Following the compressor, we have the combustion chamber, our second core component. This is where the magic happens. Here, fuel is injected into the hot, high-pressure air and ignited. This causes an explosion, and the resulting hot gases rush out of the back of the engine. But before these gases escape, they pass through our third core component, the turbine. This part is a bit like a windmill, as it harnesses the energy of the fast-moving gases to drive the compressor at the front of the engine. Now that we understand the basic components, let's delve into the turbojet's working process. The magic of a turbojet engine begins with a simple breath of air. Imagine a giant inhaling deeply, drawing in a vast amount of air. That's what happens at the very start of the turbojet's process. The engine's intake, or mouth if you will, gulps in a substantial volume of air, which is then ushered towards the compressor. Now picture a powerful squeeze as if that giant is compressing the air in its mighty hands. In the engine, this is the job of the compressor. It's a component made up of many blades, spinning at high speed, compressing the incoming air to a fraction of its original volume. This results in a significant increase in the air's pressure and temperature, even before it encounters any fuel. Next, we move on to an exciting part of the journey. The high-pressure, high-temperature air is introduced to fuel in the combustion chamber. Here's where the magic really happens. Picture a grand ballroom where the air and fuel dance together, mixing and mingling in a high-energy dance-off. This combination of compressed air and fuel ignites, and a powerful combustion reaction occurs. The result is a high-pressure, high-temperature gas. And what does this gas do? It doesn't just sit around. It's thrust out through the engine's exhaust with an immense force, creating a powerful push or thrust that propels the engine, and therefore the plane, forward. Think of it as the engine taking a deep breath holding it in and then releasing it with a mighty roar. That roar is the thrust that moves our planes through the skies, overcoming gravity and resistance to transport us across continents and oceans. So the thrust that propels the plane forward is nothing but the result of air and fuel undergoing a remarkable transformation. This transformation, from a simple breath of air to a force capable of moving massive aircraft, is the magic of the turbojet engine. Turbojet engines are not just about raw power, but also about efficiency, a sentiment that rings true for these engineering marvels. The efficiency of a turbojet engine is fundamentally tied to its fuel consumption. The less fuel an engine uses to produce a given amount of thrust, the more efficient it is. So how does a turbojet achieve this? It's all about temperature and pressure control. The hotter the gases that exit the engine, the more thrust they produce. But there's a catch. Too much heat can damage the engine. Therefore, it's crucial to find a balance between high temperatures for maximum thrust and safe operating conditions for the engine's longevity. Pressure control is another critical factor. The higher the pressure of the air entering the combustion chamber, the more fuel can be burned and the greater the thrust. Again, there's a balance to be struck. Too much pressure can lead to mechanical failure. Now, let's talk about the unsung hero of the turbojet engine, the turbine. The turbine is responsible for driving the compressor. It leverages the energy from the exhaust gases, which would otherwise be wasted, to compress incoming air. This process improves the overall efficiency of the engine by recycling energy that would otherwise be lost. In essence, a turbojet engine is a perfect blend of power and efficiency. It's not just about thrust and speed, but also about how effectively fuel is used and energy is conserved. 
It's a delicate dance of mechanics, thermodynamics and aerodynamics, all working together in perfect harmony. In just a few minutes, we've journeyed through the fascinating world of turbojet engines. We've delved into the intricate workings of these powerful machines, and it's been quite the adventure. To recap, we started with the basics, understanding the core components that make up a turbojet engine. From the compressor to the turbine, each part plays a crucial role in harnessing the raw power of jet propulsion. We then discovered the principle of thrust, the force that propels a jet. It's a captivating dance of air and fuel, compressed and ignited to produce a high-speed exhaust jet. The principle of action and reaction, as Sir Isaac Newton would have it, is on full display here. Next, we delved into the efficiency and power of turbojet engines. Despite their seemingly simple operation, these engines are feats of engineering, designed to maximize power while minimizing fuel consumption. Their efficiency is a testament to the ingenuity and perseverance of engineers across the decades. In a world where speed and power are paramount, the turbojet engine stands as a sterling example of human innovation. It's a reminder of our capacity to harness the forces of nature, to push the boundaries of what's possible. So the next time you see a jet streaking across the sky, you'll know exactly what's propelling it forward. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share as we continue to explore the marvels of engineering together.